The celebration of Europe Day 2020 is unique for at least two reasons. This year marks 45 years of our very fruitful partnership. And secondly, it comes at a time when Jamaica, the region and the world is fighting a war against the coronavirus, which threatens the health and well-being of people everywhere. It also seriously undermines the national, regional and global economies. Within this context, the most urgent challenge is for the people of the world at large to work together to combat this devastating disease and to ensure that people everywhere, regardless of geographical location or economic status, have a fighting chance to survive and thrive beyond. As we all know, Europe too is facing its own struggles with this ruthless pandemic. Too many lives have sadly been lost. But we remain committed to the principle of solidarity, which compels us to work together in the common interest of all people around the world. For one of the lessons this experience has been teaching us is that our best chance for survival and recovery is to fight this epidemic together. This is why, as part of the European Union's support, we have decided to immediately reorient all our assistance programs with the Caribbean and Latin America. Nearly 1 billion euro has been made available to our partners in the Caribbean and in Latin America as part of our worldwide response to support partner countries' efforts to tackle COVID-19. In the Caribbean, the European Union, in partnership with the Caribbean Public Health Agency, CARFA, has mobilized a total amount of 8.5 million euro to cater for the region's most urgent needs in managing the fight against this virus. This funding will help to increase the region's capacity to detect, monitor and respond to the COVID-19 pandemic in a coordinated way. Here is hoping it will serve the people of the Caribbean well. Europe and Jamaica share a strong political and economic relationship that is growing stronger every day and of which I am professionally and personally very proud. It is a partnership that is built on respect and trust and is intended to create value and benefit to the Jamaican people. In the most crucial moment of the pandemic, Europe has managed in a most timely manner to bring 29 ventilators for intensive care units, adding to the 25 that were already in the use of the public health system and effectively doubling the country's previous capacity. It is a real privilege for me personally to present this kind of assistance from the citizens of Europe to the people of Jamaica at such sensitive time. The ventilators are currently being distributed to hospitals across the country and medical personnel are being trained on how to use them. We are about also to finalize delivery of additional medical supplies and equipment, including amongst others monitors, infusion pumps and ICU beds that can support treatment of Jamaicans who become infected with the coronavirus. These have already arrived from Europe and will be delivered to the government shortly. Couldn't be more timely. In closing, I would like to celebrate the 45 years of partnership between Jamaica and the European Union. It has always been a special relationship and a mutual commitment to doing all we can to ensure that everyone has a chance to live in peace and enjoy the right to a dignified life and health. The challenge has only just begun. And today, as we celebrate the 45 years of our relationship, we know only too well that we are stronger together.